In this video, I spent the last 24 hours grinding inside of Anime Last Stand. Now, this is a brand new tower defense game that dropped about a week ago. And it's actually pretty high quality, not gonna lie. And I spent a bunch of time grinding and just getting a bunch of really cool things, which you will see in the video. The luck, especially towards the end of this video, is absolutely insane. Huge amount of amazing units and a lot of progress. But if you haven't already and you do enjoy this, this video please drop a quick like and subscribe it is free and it does help about the channel but let's go ahead and get started all right let's do this i did log into this game when it first released so i have the og's player badge but i'm not starting this till like almost a week later after release and there is a lot in this there's techniques okay these are traits i bet leaderboard infinite afk story mode summon crafting the most important thing ever when playing new games is entering code. There we go. First code, which is this. And then we have this code, even more. This one. There we go. Another. Sorry for delay. Final delay. Release. This super long code. This one. This one. And this one. Another. <laughs> and another. A 20th code. I have so many codes. Here is another. Here's a short code for you to enter. Another, which gave me a unit. I mean, an exotic, interesting. And this one, which also gave me a unit. And then shut down. Okay, that was a lot of code. But we have two units. We have a primal unit, which has a skill tree. Unlock one skill once you hit each requirement. Okay, that's kind of cool. So the more d kills this thing gets, the faster... Or just better than it is. That's kind of cool. I like that idea. Looks like they all have it. Probably have all their own individual ones. Very interesting. Well, they get two free units. We also have 9,800 emeralds, which we can use to summon. All right, well, let's go ahead and I'm guessing try to summon for this unit. Let's see if we get lucky. And we got an epic already. That was our first set of summons. We got two epics there. We got three, actually. We got Escanor, which not sure what any of the units are. I, I do not know what's good in this game. I, I know absolutely zero things about this game. I just know a lot of people ask me to play it. Hey, there's a legendary. Vegeta. Definitely gonna equip that one. And there is a mythic pity, I realize. You have to spend 12.5 thousand to hit it, though. And I realize I'm most likely gonna buy these. I'm gonna go ahead and buy them now. Because if I'm gonna play this game, I wanna make it as fast and easy as possible. Okay, see, so yeah, I bought both of those. How much is it now? It's a hundred cheaper. And banner also changed because I had because I went AFK for a bit. We're getting some new units and we got a new epic there. Let me just spend all of my money on these banners. Let me see what I get. Hey, Zanetsu, there we go. Another one of them. We got two of them there. Awesome. Four legendaries so far. We have a full bar of units. I legitimately don't know who's good or not because I don't see their stats anywhere. And we got, we got Vegeta again. And again. And again. We got three in a row. Interesting. No, but buying those is worth it because now the pity for the mythical is 2,500 cheaper, which overall, that I don't know how fast you get money in this game, but that should save a lot of time. And okay, there we go. That's all my money. Now, let's just see. Okay, well, I have all of my top units equipped here. Two epics, two legendaries, two mythicals. I don't know who's good yet, so I'm going to wait to fuse until I know what's good. But for now, let's head over to the story mode it, guy and let's start actually playing the game. Looks like there's four maps right now. There's also nightmare mode. Interesting. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, it looks like the end path is there and it looks like the beginning is all the way over here. Okay, cool. All right, our first unit. I can't afford them. Looks like we're, like we're going to start with Drip Goku. There you go. 190 damage. Not too bad. And he's a Lion AoE. So that was a, that was a pretty good placement, actually. And, you know, because he's a Lion AoE, let's go send the last. That way he targets the entire line. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and place down you. You have a... Sh you're Escanor. I bet you're a money unit. You are. You're worth. Okay, let's place you down. Let's also go ahead and... I'm guessing place that another one of you so that way I can deal with the back ones. How many Escanors can I place down? I can place down quite a bit of you, actually. We are just spamming Escanors. Okay, we only have we only have four of them down. Well, you're probably worth upgrading. Make a bunch of money off these guys. Also, he's not Drip Goku. He's the Grip, Grip Kohan. My bad. Let's go ahead and place down you. Where can I place you down at? Are you a hill? Yeah, you're a hill unit. I, I gotta place you up here. Oh, look at that though. 600 damage. And his cooldown's the exact same. So you are a much better unit. Primal's really good. Hey, what about you? 800? Same amount of time. So you're actually kind of weak then. And then what about you? No, you're not too bad. Oh, I just realized there's a bunch of upgrades. There's seven upgrades per Escanor. 
Okay, we're gonna leave the towers to do their own thing because they're doing really good. I'm just gonna max out my money. I want to see how much money I can make. Escanor was like one of the best epics to get, actually. That was really worth it. I'll stop upgrading you. Okay, let's start upgrading some towers. Let's see. So you, I, I want to see what towers max out at. I want to see what's my best one. I think this one's the best one so far though, because he also hits air. So I bet he's really good. And they got 10,000 damage at max upgrade. Not too bad. So I think my next best one is Vegeta. You have a lot more upgrades though. Okay, it looks like, based off these upgrades, unless the next upgrade's really, really good. Yeah, it looks like overall, Gogeta's better. Or Gogata. Not sure about, like, these other ones, but there we go. Okay, cool. First round is over. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. I'm gonna dump all of my experience into my first unit. Because that one is actually really, really good. I'm pretty sure if I do this, then I press Fuse. Okay, I gotta unequip it. Well, not you. I wanna, I wanna do this unit. Use and then all going to that unit. So level 23. There we go. This is an exotic unit. It's not a mythical. And just to see if I go ahead and press skill tree, you have 135 kills. I'll be able to learn one of these soon. This is going to be fun. Okay, next round. I want to go ahead and place down my Luffy. I have Marie I have gear two Luffy here. How much do you do? Eh, not too bad. You do have to do the first round. The boxes are super picky, though, I will say, on what they want you to place. Oh, yeah, no, you do less damage than Luffy. Just Luffy has a... Oh, you both have line AoEs. So Luffy's better than this one. You're faster, have less range, but way more damage by default. Oh, you also have it out with 1,000 damage now. You're way better because of all the levels I put into you. Yeah, I think that's going to be my go-to unit for, like, this entire video, most likely. It is actually good. Hits airs and does way too much damage for his own good. I'm going to go ahead and sell these other units. So that way I can funnel all the kills into this one. And we can have at least four. We have five? Okay, we only have four primals. That's perfectly fine. This is going to be so easy now. Now that I leveled this one up by so much. So I do need to make sure to split up where they're hitting because if they all target the same thing, they're wasting so much damage. Okay, this is gonna be easy. Look at look at all that damage. 16.8 thousand on a maxed out version, which is way overkill because these all have like 2K. And then there's the boss who is now dead. Perfect. Okay, next round, let's do it. But there we go. Okay, next round. And okay, there we go. Next one's done. We are just gonna speed run these. Our unit is making it so easy. And I totally forgot. I could actually go ahead because it's now round 15. I'm not going to get any more money from these guys. So I can just go ahead and sell them for an extra 20,000, which in return lets me max out all my units. That's that's much better. I have a lot of money left over too. And this unit is just overpowered. I'm so glad that was a code. I'm sure I could still do this with other units, but I just having this one makes it so much better. There's also flying units now, but they don't stand a chance. And there we go. Okay, round is over. I don't know how many more rounds we have, but let me leave. We made 300 so far. If I check the skill tree, I have a bunch of kills. So question, if I go ahead and like, I, I, I can't take this one, for example, or like these. I go ahead and learn that. Th did that take kills from the total? Okay, I can only learn one on each year. I think damage is probably the best. Okay, what's the, what's the best one here? I'm not sure. Like, can I not learn this one? Okay, no, I have to connect the dot. So I'll go ahead and learn this one because only one I can learn. And then after that, I unlock a range or SPA. This is kind of complicated. I, I hope there's a way to re-roll these later. I redo it. I'm gonna bet there isn't though. Just looking at them now, I'm guessing my upgrade pattern is I'm gonna take the range, then enlightened sight, then critical two, then I'm hoping empowering three, and then I can head up and do shatter two and then devastation master, which is really good. But that's, that's not gonna be for a while though. I need so many more kills. I also have these because I completed a bunch of rounds. There we go. And okay, there we go. That should be the last round this map. It should take us to a new map now. Or just the game itself. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, we're new map. It's Arlong Park. Okay, let's go. I never see people use Arlong Park. Where can I put my air units at? Okay, I can put them up here. I'm guessing that works. For now, I'm going to go ahead and put my gear fo my gear 2 Luffy there. And just repeat this. A nice map. Very, very good. And all the enemies are fishmen. I love that. Finding little Easter eggs around the map while my enemies fight. I'm guessing these three are developers. I did see this over here, the only island with things on it. Look at this. It's a Meadows portal. What are the Meadows doing in One Piece? Intriguing. I saw the glow. Okay, and here's the first enemy. It's just a bigger official eat. And there we go. Next round. And there we go. Next round is done. Basically the exact same setup again. I honestly don't know who the boss was this round. I think the boss spawned earlier, but he's already dead. But there we go. Next one done. I'm just blind. I, I keep missing the bosses. And I've been looking for the entire round, but I can't find them. But there you go. Next one done. And okay, there we go. That round's over. This unit makes it so easy. I have no reason to spin yet. Oh, I have 58 of these now. Can I go ahead 
Let's spin on our unit. Let's see if we can get anything cool. Because there is a bunch of like super rare ones. It looks like Avatar is the best. Overlord, Shinigami. Okay, there's a lot in here. Wow. I don't even know how I got these, but let's roll. Scope three, golden. Scope three is plus 10. Golden gives me 12.5% more money. I might need to get that on Escanor then. Shining. That gives plus 10% more money. Eagle Eye. 15% more range. Sturdy three. That, that, that might actually be kind of good. Yeah, 10% more damage. Hey, I think for now we're going to go ahead and keep that. Why not? Like I just looked up. Apparently gold does affect it, but I'm not going to on this one because I can get better money units. Apparently there is a, a really high tier that you can get in Banner 2. That gives a lot more money. And then there's also Speed Wagon, which I think what apparently is better. Hey, we got another legendary there. I'm 10 rolls away. If I get 90 more, I can get this mythic guaranteed. Might be kind of cool to get one of those. Oh, and it's also a new code that dropped since I started playing. There we go. Very short code. I'm going to guess that gave me these. Yeah, we have 62 of these now. My lord, they are expensive to buy with Robux though. Look at those prices. That's insane. Oh, the round ended. I, I, I actually didn't even notice I was in the last round. Do so much damage. They're up to 21.6 thousand damage per attack. That is insane. Oh, we're on the next map now. Oh, this is the hollow dimension. This map is so dark. I can't see a thing. Ooh, but it is a line AoE, which means it's really good for what I have set up. And then we have a fighting a bunch of hollows. Okay, yeah, this map is like perfect for me. It's going to be so easy. Because, like, this is it's just a death corridor for the enemies. Now, there's the boss, the elite high hollow with 167,000, but does not stand a chance. Okay, cool. 110 for that. Not too bad. I should also, with that, I now have enough money to get the guaranteed mythical. There we go. Let's do it. There we go. Cursed King Suppress. We also got a legendary. There we go. It's also an air unit. That's perfect. Oh, and here's the stats. Element Demonic, 1.5 times damage to holy enemies. And then a skill tree. It looks like the skill tree is the exact same. But, but because this unit is really, really good, I'm going to go ahead and look up when I do it what the best action, course of action is. Oh, yeah, we can learn this. There we go. And now we're moving up to these. Oh, yeah, because I'm going to start using this guy. Let's go ahead and I can press Evolve. Oh, yeah, look at that. So if I get Cursed Fingers, I don't know how you get them. I can evolve him into a better version of himself. I can't do that with this one or this one. I do wish I could see all these buttons. That's one thing I don't like is I have to scroll. Yeah, very cool. Let me go ahead and press fuse. I got, wait, I got to unlock it. Unlock fuse. And let's go ahead and fuse all these extra units into it. There we go. Okay, now it's level eight. I'm going to go ahead and start bringing that. I'll replace you. Definitely going to start using him. And we can't forget. Let's see. Vulture immediately. What is that? A 2.25. That gives quite a bit, actually. Range, SPA, crit, and damage. Crit, crit for damage and chance. No, not too bad. I'm not sure what's good, but that's rare. So I'm, I'm guessing I'll go ahead and keep that. That was our first roll. Luck has been doing well. I also, now that I've gotten some good units, I want to see how hard is infinite. Let's try Desert Village Infinite. Let's see. Just to break it up. Okay, they don't have much health. I mean, if anything, this is going to be really good for kills. Oh, yeah, because of his trait, or whatever they call it in this game, I already forgot. He has more crit. He has a crit stat, unlike all my other units. He also has a blood, because I think he has bleed. I'll also spectate him. Very cool looking unit. Okay, there we go. Pretty high damage. Look at that range, too. Overall, that is a really good unit even though he's only level eight right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, I leveled up all my towers and in infinite. We're on wave 50 so far. And the enemies are still getting heavily one shot. They don't stand a chance. These guys up front, so that way they can farm the most kills. So I don't know if that increases their experience. I'm not quite sure how that's calculated yet. Let's AFK this. Let's see how long we can go and let's see what rewards we get. I'm, I'm going to guess at current rate, we're going to make it to like past wave 100 or so. Let's do it. I will say that this one is definitely more expensive to upgrade. It still does a lot of damage. There we go. Okay, that round is now over. I think like four more of this map. Oh, there you go. That one ended. That one ended like immediately. And yeah, here's the next one. Hey, this boss is Lakora. He does not stand a chance though. We have a ton of damage and a ton of bleed damage too. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, here's the next enemy, which is... That's Aizen. Aizen is doomed. Ah, we're on Namek now. That was the last of that round. Okay, let me rejoin real quick. Mainly because I have a bunch of quests here. There we go. Look at this. I keep forgetting to claim these. Let me just go ahead and claim all of these for a ton of emeralds. Oh, Namek is the banner too now. This one might be worth summoning on. It is more expensive though. It's 60 per instead of 40. But I have a much higher chance to get something good. I want to test something. If I do one summon on here, does that not contribute to the pity? I'm going to guess not. What if I just do a 10 summon here? Hey, Grimjaw. 
Okay, that could tribute it, but not the here. So this has its own pity. That's expensive. I just realized there's mythic pity and then there's celestial pity. I was reading this as mythical for some reason. I'm just, I'm just dumb. Okay, so it's only 100 for the pity. It's actually much cheaper. It's 6,000 for a mythical instead of 10,000. So I, I probably should have saved all my money for this one. Noted, if you're doing this and you already have, like, enter those codes for the good units and then just save your money until you get the access to the second banner. Oh, so let's go ahead and try this, maybe. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. How much health are you looking at? A lot of health. Okay, you know what? I want to see if we can get... Because I've looked up. This dude is actually really, really good. I want to see if I can get, like, one of these down here. Let's see. We have 63 spins. Let's see if we get lucky. Rerolling off a of vulture. Hyperspeed. What is that? Negative 12.5% SPA. That is like deletes all your SPA. Ooh, Juggernaut. That is actually more appealing than this one. I, I don't know how good crit is, but that is actually quite appealing. Dang it. It was worth the gamble. Okay, this one isn't too bad. I have, to, I have to try a little harder though. I should be able to get all the missions done with the units I have now. And there we go. I actually didn't even see what the boss was there. Oh, that's not too bad either. I don't know what gold's used for, but I get nine emeralds every minute. I normally AFK for about 10 hours when I AFK, so I can get about like 5,400 emeralds, which is almost a full pity. All right, a few hours later, after a bunch of AFKing, mainly because I just couldn't play, I have a bunch of emeralds and gold. I still don't know what gold used for, though. We are rich, though, now. And I tried to do as much research as possible while I was AFKing, mainly on the Discord, because this game is brand new, so there's not a lot of other information places. And from what I can tell, there's not many ways to get the rerolls yet. As in, you have to either pay the really, really expensive Robux amount, have an owner give them to you directly, which was a lot of the videos. And ooh, you're in the shop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin for, I'm gonna spin for you. Yeah, is that or codes? Which speaking of which, I do have a new code that dropped overnight. Use code fixes, which gave me 25 rerolls, apparently, and also 250 gems. But okay, let's go ahead and spin on this. I have 38 minutes. I, don't, I heard Guts is good. I, I heard Yami's really good for early placement because he's cheap and then uh, speed cart for obvious reasons. Let's see if we can get both of them. I mainly want speed cart right now though. And Guts, he'd be kind of cool. And I have a feeling most of these are gonna be hit by pity. <laughs> hey, we hit Yami, there we go. And we got him two before the mythic pity. Let's see, can it give us speed cart? Dang it. Okay, we got two Yamis there. Could also. Nah, that would cost too much to get pity on here. But hey, there we go. We got Dark Captain. So let's go ahead and equip him. Just gonna have it replace you. Easy units. Okay, well, I want to keep spinning. I, I want to see if we can get one of these two. Okay, no speed wagon. Rolls with a shot. We're also getting much closer to the Celestial Pity. I'll, I'll use the pity on whatever the best option is, which I don't know what that is just yet. Let's see, do you have an evolution? You do not. Okay, so you're, you're as is. Oh, cool. I have more rerolls now because of that code. Um, apparently, I've looked into it. This is like one of the best mythics right now. Like, this is the best air. So I'm going to keep rerolling on him. Can we get something remotely decent? Like Vulture. There we go. I'm going to keep Vulture again. Especially because I think I know what setup I want to use for him. I think I know, I think I know what, I, what I want to use. I'm also a lot farther in now. I am going to go down the critical path, which is these four as the next one. And he'll have a ton of crit damage and chance and then up to 70 with that because this alone gives 15 then 30 and I have a bunch of crit damage increases on top of the 15 that the trait gave so I'm gonna have like a 45 percent crit chance on him and he also has bleed I don't know if crit affects bleed but if it does I think a crit setup with him would be the best okay but now we did that I'm guessing we can spend a few on dark captain because I'll be using him for a bit might as well Juggernaut. Perfect. Okay, I don't want a super good one on him yet. I mean, it'd be nice to get a super good one on him, but I don't need to spend a lot of rerolls on him. But let's actually go ahead and finish story. We have a few more to go. Oh yeah, and look at this. Because I mean, he doesn't have a lot, but if I go ahead and place him, I can place him down right away. and I, I don't have to wait. And he does a ton of damage too, so this should work out really well. Look at that. More than enough. And his attack at speed is really fast too. So he is the best starting unit for like story mode and maybe infinite. So with him down, all I gotta do is focus on money until air units are a thing. I'll also place out a second one. I'd place it too late though. No, so yeah, but he's only level one and he's doing that much damage. This is gonna be an amazing unit. Yeah, look at this. At level one, this unit has 5.62 thousand damage with Juggernaut granted. And if I go ahead and put level three on, on the upgrades, the cooldown is still super low as so it's dealing 5,000. Man, when this thing's leveled up, you can just place down one of these and it would win for you. Just like by itself. Yeah, Yami was worth it. Oh, 
and the round ended. I didn't even see the boss. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to believe that either I'm dealing way too much damage or there just aren't bosses on these maps. And now he's level 14 dealing way more. You know, I think this is the setup. Just four of these units all at the front. You just win. Also, just to see how much damage do you do at max? Like, what do you do? Ooh, that's kind of cool. And then there we go. That's max. Really big AoE. I mean, over like overall, you're way better fully upgraded. But for these short rounds, the upgrade three version is much better. Nice. And I didn't even see a boss there. Did you see a boss there? I didn't see a boss there. I was there watching it too. Okay, whatever. Next round. I also started using Riku because this unit can actually stun so if needed. It's a cheap little thing to help speed up the round. It also helps in case anybody gets by. So this time I'm doing it without money unit because I don't think I need it. Like I think just spending a little bit of money on these upgrades is enough. Yeah, I was right. That's perfect. The, the amount of money you get on by default lets you max out up to, you know, the good upgrade. Four Dark Captains, which that DPS must be insane. And it's only level 23. This might be just my new favorite unit. There you go. Round is over. It really helps there's no air units on this map. If there was air units, I would have to play status Sakuna upgrade it, but there isn't. So I don't need to. And yet again, I sat here and no boss. So we're almost done. Aha, uh -huh, here's the boss. Oh, you, may, you might be more tanky that I can deal with. Oh, no. Okay, one second. Okay, you're all out of range. Let me go ahead and sell these guys. I might need to redo this round. I didn't realize I, I didn't set it up to kill a bunch of damage. Well, we'll set it right here. And max you out. You're doing 9,000. You have to hit a lot, my lord. We might, we might not be able to kill you. I've got it. All I gotta do is have stun units. I should have done this differently. Even one more upgrade would have actually killed him. Okay, let's redo that. Here we go. Same setup. I just had a few of these at the beginning. Not all fully upgraded, though. And I have a bunch of nuclear Sakunas back here dealing 20,000 damage. That should hopefully be enough. This one is definitely much tankier. It got much harder this round. And there we go. Finally. Okay, is there more? I hope there isn't. I, I kind of hope there is, but I hope there isn't at the same time. There is more. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to try really hard on this one, I bet. Unless it just doesn't start. Okay, rejoin. And I think because of the use of this unit, the Yami, I'm going to go ahead and stack SPA all the way up to Devastation Mastery. Just following this path right here. And apparently I did beat the last one. I guess the last one was a glitch. It took me to Act 7 and it didn't exist. Cool, story modes are finished. We're caught up on all those. I think something I can do now, now that I have some better units. I want to try to evolve my Sukuna. And apparently you have to run these challenges to do that. Let's run one. And this should hopefully go well because this is, this is doing enough damage to one shot. But, well, almost. It's already not doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna say I can't do this. Yeah, okay, I want to go ahead and run an infinite. I'm guessing we'll do water park. If I already, I've already attempted desert village. I have the badges for it. So let, let's do water park now that we have stronger units. And this time I won't crash. Hopefully. If anything, I'll end it after 50 to see what I get. Okay, I made it past 50, and I could definitely go for a very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell what I have. They still have like no health. I just want to see what this gives me reward wise. Let's see. 208 gems. Honestly, not that much. And it didn't give me any experience. I don't think infinites are worth running unless you're doing up to wave 50 for these things. Oh, are you kidding me? I just got Sakuna again. Okay, at least I didn't reset my pity. I'm try I want to get a speed card. We're close to the pity. Best case scenario is if I get a banner with two units that I do not have. Okay, because I'm basically too weak to run most things. Like my units aren't strong enough. I'm going to go ahead and just run Act 5 of Nomic because Act 6 is kind of difficult. So I'm going to do Act 5 over and over again. I wonder if I can do Nightmare. Nightmare would pay more. Let's see. I'm going to say potentially no. I think I need to level them up a little bit more. Yeah, definitely need to level up a bit more to do this. Yeah, look at that. In 6 minutes and I'm guessing 8 seconds. Just with these 4 being placed down. I got 140 gems, which was much faster than the infinite. And I got experience. And I also just checking... I press retry. Yeah, this one went up in levels. It's two levels higher. It's a really slow level up. I don't know how people actually grind levels, but this is still much better than the infinite. Too bad he can't auto grind in this game though, because the spawn points are incredibly random. There's no like way to actually AFK. And it's paying off. I got a bunch of money, just enough to try to, I can get a pity here. Let's see, does it want to give us speed wagon finally? Let's see any luck. There we go, speed cart. Apparently, he's the best money unit. I got two of them. Okay, there we go. Apparently, he's the best money unit for infinites. There is also a celestial, which I'll be able to get pretty soon. So, definitely gonna have him replace 
Escanor. He's my new money unit. Also, how the heck do I have two of every single mythical that I have? I have I, I got two of each. Ah, and look at that. I just I just rolled a few traits on the speed wagons, and I got golden or not, I got shining on this one, which increased the money up to 385. It was 350, so my it's so my speed wagon's now better. Awesome. And here we go. Join the main game, and I just hit day two. So that was 24 hours. We are gonna cheat though. I have a bunch of money. And I want to spin for our slush deal in our first video. But I don't want it to be this one. There's a, there's a specific one I want. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for it. And hey, look at this. I'm on Nightmare on the round I've been running that I attempted earlier. And I'm doing it. I have enough damage. Yeah, all four of these up to that one level where they attack really fast do enough damage. And all I need is an extra um, rookie. And I can kill all the enemies. And yeah, look at that. We can do Nightmare mode now. And it pays way more tiny bit stressful at the beginning because it's very very close at the beginning but i can do it aha and here he is the one i want to get there's also two mythics on here that i don't have but i think they're both bad i have heard that this one's getting an update though if i open up another 40 i'll be getting my first celestial unit that's not from a code and here we go one of these opens will be it there he is not a special sound. I was, I was expecting a sound for that, but there we go. Black Swordsman. We got guts. Let's go. And we didn't get one of these units. I'll try to get those later. But look at him. Okay, he does not have an evolve right now. There we go. Level 12. And we only have eight rerolls, sadly. But let's see. Can we get something lucky? Element Master. What does that do? A plus 5% more damage, 0.5 dot duration, and 0.75 dot damage. I think DOT is damage over time. I don't know if you have damage over time, though. You do, you do a lot, though. 900 on placement. Yeah, so we're gonna reroll that. Come on, just something decent. Dang it. Oh, okay. Well, I can't get rerolls because I don't know how to get them normally. Okay, wow. Yeah, Guts is really good. Look at this. It is a full AoE unit. Very, very expensive. Healing Bleed. Really good unit. Big fan of that. Also, I maxed out the speed cards for the first time ever they're expensive basically only useful for infinites but they give a lot of money for two of them oh yeah also you can have only two of these black swordsmen they cost almost a hundred thousand to max out that is amazing oh and they can hit air yeah they turn into a hybrid or that specific that specific upgrade is a hybrid it makes it even better as you're upgrading it you don't have to worry about air yeah it goes it went back down to ground wasn't with the full aoe well i think it's much more than a hundred thousand actually i thought it was a hundred but it might be more also our dark captain is much more powerful too now look at those stats uh same with the sakuna too oh we're doing so good our units are really powerful i even made the wave 50 in the first nightmare on a technicality i would have failed if they didn't count waves until all enemies are dead but i technically did it let's go and it still pays basically nothing that's such a, that's a shame only 300 for 20 minutes well on the bright side i get these and we rolled eagle eye one reroll i'm not gonna risk it still though amazing progress in this video also what the heck i keep extending the video but look at this look what i just rolled i just got illusionist and flame alchemist from one set of rolls what the heck what the heck there we go another two really good units at the end of the video i'm not gonna do anything with them just yet because this video is already long my goodness the luck at the end of this video has been another one okay yeah look at the end of the video is insane that would have been even better if it was gojo that would have been the whole banner <laughs>